Hello everyone, my name is Glenna, which you probably realize that since that is also the name of my channel. I started my channel um, about two and a half years ago and not being a techie person, I ran into issues with technology and couldn't quite figure things out so I have just kind of left it sit there for two and a half years and with the encouragement of family and friends, I am back, and I hope it's going to be better this time. I have taken some little classes about um, posting videos and editing, and hopefully that's going to help me. Um, I came on today. I wanted to talk to you about something that has recently hit me, and that is melanoma. Um, <clears throat> as you know, melanoma is a form of skin cancer. There are different types. Um, I don't really know all the ins and outs of all the different types, but that's not what I'm on here for anyway. Um, I had a brown spot on my neck that's been there forever. I asked my doctor about it um, about 15 years ago, and he looked at it, and he used his little magnifying glass and his light, and he checked it, and he said it's nothing but an age spot. So we went on, and about 10 years ago, I asked again, and it was the same thing. It's just nothing but an age spot. So I had just ignored it for all of these years. Um, I did notice that it had gotten larger. It had grown. It had changed shapes, and parts of it were darker than other parts. But there again, I have already asked about it two different times, and I, each time I was told that it was nothing more than an age spot, so I just let it go. And I assumed that was something I was going to have to live with. Well, another spot came up that had concerned me, and I decided to go to a dermatologist. Now, why I had not been to a dermatologist before in my life, I don't know, but I never did. And so I made an appointment with a dermatologist. I got in... And the spot I actually went in for, the dermatologist said, that's no big deal. But this brown spot on my neck, tell me about it. And so I did, told the story, and she said, that is concerning to me. And I think we should do a biopsy today. I said, okay, I'm here as a patient. You came highly recommended, so I am here to do as you say. So whatever you suggest is what we'll do. And she did a biopsy that day. She ended up taking off about the size of a quarter. Um, I had a, a round spot there about the size of a quarter. They sent that off. Um, it came back a week later. The doctor called and said um, that it was melanoma, but that the part that had been taken off was not all of it. The margins were not clear, so we were going to need to remove more. So I was set up uh, with an appointment with the surgeon in her office since it was going to be more extensive, and I went in then the next week to get get more removed. Um, this time when they got through, there was a size about the size of a 50 cent piece. It was a pretty big hole in my neck. Now, the good thing is it was stage zero, which means it was only on the skin. It did not go deeper, but even only on the skin, you've got your dermis, your epidermis, you've got to get through both layers. You know, you, you've got to get through your layers of your skin to remove all of that. So they did, and I was told then to keep it moist to keep back basically keep Vaseline on it and keep it covered until we had the results the results came back two days later and we had clear margins so thankfully they were able to get it all even though it did look like a very big spot to me I was very thankful that they were able to get the, get it all and get clear margins so I was I got that information that report back at about 10:45 on um, Wednesday morning and I had an appointment at 12 o'clock to go to a plastic surgeon to get it either um, skin graft or sewn up, whichever, whichever was going to work best. So I got there, the doctor looked at it, and he decided that he could do a little cutting and be able to cut a little more so he could stretch things around and stitch it without the skin graft so I wouldn't have two sores to, to doctor and to worry about getting well. I said, well, you're the doctor. I'm here to take your advice and let's let's do it. So he did, and he worked on me for a solid hour. I had, and it started down in here and came up around and down here. He was trying to get it to where it would be more in the, 
the creases of my neck so that it would be less scarring, which I appreciate and I'm thankful for. Um, of course, at that time, my only thought was, we got the melanoma, just sew it up. Let's just move on from here, and that's really what we're doing. Um, I got the stitches out after a week. It's now been a week and a half. It still looks pretty, it's still, you can see it pretty good, but it does look good. It's not swelling like it was. Um, it is very tight. It's going to take time for it to heal. I can't really turn my head far to one way or the other it, because it pulls, but um, I'm just supposed to take it easy and not, not do anything to irritate it and let it continue to get well. I will be having an appointment with my dermatologist every three months for two years, and after that will be every six months for five years. So even though the margins were clear, we're not, we're not convinced that something can't pop up. Um, one thing was me being a fair-skinned person, and I grew up in the generation where we used baby oil and rubbed it on all over and laid in the sun and fried ourselves basically so if you um have done that i suggest you go to a dermatologist and have skin your skin have a scan of your skin to make sure you don't have any places of concern and if you do you want to get to it early so you won't have to have any more uh done than i have um again i would encourage you to get checked. I want everyone to get checked. I don't want anyone to go through this because I will tell you when I got that call that it was melanoma. I thought I was prepared for it, but I really wasn't. I was quite in shock and just kind of dazed there for a while. So uh, thankfully, I had lots of people praying for me and our prayers were answered in the way that we were hoping they would be. And I'm very grateful for that. So be sure that you get scanned and take care of yourself. Until next time.